We're here in eastern Austria in the Sevinklo region at St. Martin's Spa and Lodge and I'm taking you into our brand new photo hide. This is a very special hide because it is submerged in a wetland and also it has mirrored windows, mirrored glass. So when we are sitting inside the hide, the birds can see us at all. So they show all the natural behavior and come very close to the windows. And even better, Shabuch Kukai, the wildlife illustrator, is in the hide painting birds. And I want to see how that looks like. Um, so you have already looked around. Oh yeah. yeah. What is the, what are the species that you find the most interesting? Or um, this flock of uh, rough drop uh, caught my attention. Probably, I will try to sketch them because they are quite relaxed now. And uh, there's a really nice variety of them within the flock. Yeah, it's amazing. Every every bird looks different. Kind oh of, yeah. yeah, yeah, different stage of the mold. Yeah. You pick out one of the birds, or yeah, will you I just, draw a group, or yeah, I just scan the flock, and if I see an interesting individual, I think I will concentrate on that one. Okay, okay, I'm I'm eager to see how that goes. Me too. Did you see the bird on the far left? Um, that looks like it's the most advanced bird in yeah, the breeding Yeah, yeah, but it's quite it's well he, in the vegetation. It's a really unique opportunity to have such good views, close views of them. Oh, oh there you go. Yeah. Did you hear that? Yeah. You could the hear the, of the sound wing. of the yeah. wings through the open door. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I really hope they return. Yeah, I guess so. Because it, nothing else flew, so the stilts are still here. The lapwing lap wing is displaying. Yeah, they're there. Oh, yeah. Ooh. Ooh. oh no. No. Yeah. I probably I will uh, I will concentrate on these grey leg geese while we are waiting. Okay. I love I love geese. Fa shortbirds are my favorite group of birds, but uh, I still love geese really much. It's a nice pair of grey leg geese here. Yeah, I, I imagine that it it must be so much easier from like just painting from a photo or from a still yeah. subject. Yeah, of course, but uh, 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 but as, uh, to to catch the atmosphere really well, all the lights, all the colors, I think it's really important to to use my own eye because uh, the photograph is a transformed image. The colors are really not the same as, as, as in nature. Um, a lot of subjects are which I find really exciting uh, with my eyes and then I take a photo and return back home. I, I'm no longer interested in that painting now. So your, your goose already gets, gets into shape? It's yeah, yeah. You started with the head and now you're getting down to the body? Yeah, usually I start with the head because that, that's, that's the most difficult part to catch the character. Uh, the other parts of the body are a little bit more in, uh, easy. So when a bird like this is, is moving all the time, how do you choose a position? How do you decide which which shape, which posture will be the final sketch? Uh, I, I just watch it for a while and try to have a mental image of it, if I can. Uh, I would definitely not choose a position like this from the rear. I'm more interested to see, show the bird from profile or from, from the front, front. Yeah. Yeah, this is good now, yeah. Oh my God, where's my phone? Oh my God. I have to, 
I have to grab my phone with my feet. I, we can't move too much. Okay. Oh, okay. Shit, don't move. Please don't move. Don't go away. So I got oh, yeah, just it's landed right. started preening, so I think it's relaxed. Oh, this is a memorable, memorable moment. Oh, wow. It's, the, it's my first camera. <laughs> Look at that. It's my first phone picture of a god with. <laughs> and now I think I can start adding some color. Which is so all the shapes are there. The, it's all pencil lines. And now you that's watercolor. Yeah, watercolor. I use watercolor in the field. Okay. These subtle gray colors, sometimes they are difficult to catch really well. So that's the first time that I'm witnessing the making of one of Shabot's paintings. We've worked together a lot of times in the past in many projects, but I've never seen the actual yeah. painting happening in the field with the live subject being right there. I like this pattern on the goose neck. So it's the first season that we use this hide and that we get to know the full range of species that uses this restored old salt lake. The whole water around us is brought in artificially, but there used to be a natural salt lake some many decades ago. And we've never seen how many birds we can bring back by restoring this wetland. And it's amazing what's going on out there. Oh, oh, oh the godwit. <laughs> okay, so the godwit just came in again. There are a lot of, of different birds here. There is um, a bunch of species that is extremely rare as a breeding bird in Austria right now, or has become extremely rare. There are red shanks, there are black winged stilts, there are lap wings, there are godwits, geese, different ducks, and a lot of migrant shorebirds that we can see right now, right in front of us. It's a really new experience for me. When did your your journey as an as an artist start? Um, I've always been drawing and um, painting. Started as a child, and uh, beside that, I was watching birds since um, the age of ten. But strangely, I combined these two interests only when I turned twenty. Okay. Uh, that's when I took it more seriously. Okay. Cool. Did you keep track of how many illustrations, how many paintings you've done, how many species you've painted, maybe? No, no, I never thought No that. idea? No idea. Okay. I can't, I think it's impossible to count. Probably I can estimate the weight of the paper I used. <laughs> So let's have a look into a part of the big work that Chabuc did. And in the end, we'll show you the final painting that Chabuc is working on right now, the Grey Lake Goose. I hope I see you next time. <laughs>